We're standing here on the margins of Hamilton Creek and Hamilton Pool Preserve. And just below us is Edge Spring, and then they pour off into Hamilton Pool. And we're at the very top of the Cow Creek. And again, that's a, a beach-type environment in the Lower Cretaceous. And so you can see at my feet here are what we call these uh, shingled forsets or, or cross beds. So it could be like the swash zone on a beach, for example, or, or really low angle uh, dune type things. And then what you'll notice here is there's a change from that little thin bedded character into a more massive limestone. And the contact between the two is an unconformity. And in geologic terms, that means a gap in the rock record, which means a gap in, in time. And so it's an erosional surface. And so what this represents is a transition from the Cow Creek limestone, there's an unconformity, again an erosion, to the Hensel sandstone. And of course this unit right here isn't a sandstone. The Hensel sand is really a, a very heterogeneous unit. It has mudstones, it has sandstones, it has limestones in it. And the Hensel is fluvial in nature. That is, it was deposited in uh, rivers. 